Abs, are we good? Yeah. You're doing good, fantastic. As James said, my name's Harry Polly, like the dog or the vegetable. Um, and like most people my age, I'm 25. <laughs> I, um, I'm single, ladies. Um, I recently um, went on a date with a girl with nine fingers. It's a 100% true story, I'm really sorry to tell you. Oh, he's in the audience right now, I'm sorry. Um, I went on a date with a girl with nine fingers, and I asked her to rate me out of ten. I was really, really disappointed when she still only gave me a three. Yes, growing up as... What my student Tyrese used to call me a chubby funster. I, I am an English teacher, he called me a chubby funster. Growing up as a chubby funster in Essex, where I'm originally from, was no piece of cake, mainly because I used to eat lots of pieces of cake. Uh, and one of the many things I had to deal with as a child was my mum got remarried to my wonderful stepdad, who's in the audience tonight. But there comes a point, there they go, Michelle. Um, there comes a point, ladies and gentlemen, where, as a child, you have to process the fact that your mum has a different name to you. For example, my mum's name is Paula. <laughs> um, so, England against Sweden, what did we all make of that? Is it, in fact, coming home? I believe so. I believe it's coming home. And I'm very pessimistic about the England football team. For example, yesterday, I felt that Sweden's best player was Raheem Sterling. There was, a lot of, there was a lot of controversy about Raheem Sterling before the World Cup. He had a, he had a gun tattoo on his leg and there's a lot of people who said he's a bad role model to children and he doesn't deserve to be in the England squad. I think we all need to cut him a break because quite clearly on the evidence of yesterday's game, the tattoo of a gun on his leg was simply a reminder to do what millions of England fans around the world were telling him on several occasions Shoot, you moron! Yay! Now, I hated sport, especially at school. I'm not saying that I was bad at PE at school, but my teachers used to hide my kit. <laughs> I'm now a teacher, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a teacher of English, which is why this sign annoys me. It needs a capital letter. Um, and I feel like... Um, my inner child hated me the day I signed that contract. He was there going, you sold out, you sold out. What happened to you, man? You used to be so cool, you used to go against the corporate agenda. But now look at you, you're enforcing rules, you're marking books. The bottom line with that is, ladies and gentlemen, is that I believed I could make a difference. And how fucking wrong I was. <laughs> you think what we've got now in power is a problem. I've seen the future and it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> I work, with, um, I work with special needs children, ladies and gentlemen, and um, one of the lads that I work with, um, young lads who has severe autism and um, is going through puberty. Now, for most of us going through puberty, that was quite tough, but going through puberty with autism is, is just mind-blowing. Uh, the other day I walked into the classroom, I'd left my rucksack in there, I went to collect my rucksack. He was laying on the floor, ladies and gentlemen, spooning my rucksack. <laughs> pulled it close to him, and as if that image could not get any creepier, what the words that then followed blew my mind and made me really question my sexuality when he said, yeah, baby, move that sweet ass closer to me. <laughs> the next thing he did, because you didn't think that could get any worse, but the next thing he did was he came up to me, and he came to about this height, because that's where he stands, he wasn't kneeling, and he looked at me and he went, mm, succulent milk. <laughs> motion that he proceeded to do, this is 100% the true story as well, ladies and gentlemen, proceeded to do this. So ladies and gentlemen, I've now joined Slimming World because I'm getting rid of the man boobs. I've lost 13 pounds so far. Those weekly fees are a bitch. Now there's lots of self-help support groups that you can have, ladies and gentlemen, like for example, um, fake aways to replace your popular takeaways uh, also as well there is eat well and I think it was eat well for less but I thought it was eat well and live less um, 
And of course, my new favourite, Harry Potter and the Complex Carbohydrate. It's a fantastic read. He, he ends up with several diseases from not knowing his carbs. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm out of time and this is this has flown by. Um, I've had a fantastic time. Thank you so much for coming out, sticking with it tonight. I've been Harry Polly. God bless. Good night.